welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be upgrading the memory in a mid-2010 Mac Pro. While the Mac Pro used in many of these shots is a 12-core model, the steps for this procedure are mostly the same for other models as well. In instances where they differ, instructions for all models will be shown. We've already shut down, unplugged, and placed our Mac Pro on a static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. First, we'll need to open the side access door. To do this, lift the latch located on the rear of the Mac Pro until it locks in the open position. You may then tilt the door forward slightly and remove it. The memory is attached to the processor tray, which is located in this area. Remove the processor tray by opening the latches along the bottom of the tray, then pulling it straight forward out of the machine. On the 12-core and on the 8-core models, there are eight numbered memory slots, which are located in the front right and the rear left areas of the tray. In this example, we're going to install eight 8 gigabyte modules. In order to install all of them, we will need to remove the memory that's already installed. Push outward on the latches on each side of a memory module to eject it. Note that the memory modules have an off-center notch in them. This lines up with the off-center pin in the memory slots. Starting with the outer slots, install the memory in equal amounts on each side. We're filling the memory slots with new OWC memory in this installation, but if you're installing fewer new modules than you have slots for, you can fill the remaining slots with the memory that came with your Mac Pro. We now have 8 8 8GB modules for a total of 64GB of RAM. On the 6-core and on the quad-core models, there are four numbered memory slots, which are located in the front right area of the tray. In this example, we're going to install four 8GB modules, so we need to remove the installed memory. Push outward on the latches on each side of a memory module to eject it. Note that the memory modules have an off-center notch in them. This lines up with the off-center pin in the memory slots. Starting from the outermost slot, firmly push each module into place. The latches should snap shut when the memory is fully seated. If you're installing fewer new modules than you have slots for, you can fill the remaining slots with the memory that came with your Mac Pro. We now have four 8GB modules installed for a total of 32GB of RAM. You may now put the processor tray back into the Mac Pro making sure it's fully seated. Before closing up your computer, plug it in and turn it on. If the memory was installed incorrectly, a dialog box will come up telling you how the memory is currently installed and how it should be installed for best performance. The slot numbers in the dialog box correspond with the numbers next to the memory slots on the tray. Shut your computer down and rearrange the modules to match the order given in the dialog box, then restart to check it again. If you've installed your memory correctly, you'll get a dialog box telling you that you have. You may now replace the door and latch it. 